So today I'm working on some tool storage, uh, wanting to organize my, my tool trailer especially. I've got some new tools that I've added and uh, so I need to store especially my my cordless drills, cordless saws, sawzall, uh, that type of thing. So I've got a few of the pipes here. This is 3 inch PVC and 4 inch PVC and the 4 inch I need for my cordless saws and I'll, I'll show you why when I get to that point. Um, so what I have, these lines that I've marked are going to be the depth that I need the slot to be for the tool to slide into. Um, so I've got my depth marked and I have my little drill press here set up. This is an inch and three quarter hole saw. That's the size that I need for my specific tools. Um, one of my tools is actually a little bit bigger, so I used, uh, what is this, a two and a, yeah, two and a half. So the Sawzall, the way I'm going to use it, it has a, a larger opening, so it's going to be two and a half. Um, I'm going to try it in this three inch pipe. I still, I think it's going to be just fine, but if that's too big, or not big enough rather, then I'll use one of the pieces of four inch PVC. So these are the ones that I've already drilled, and you can see you see a little bit of the mark left where I had my depth set, and then I have one here that's a little bit shorter. So, you know, I measured these out for each tool to have it the, the way I need it. It's going to be different based on what tools you use. Now, all of my pipes are 11 inches long, and uh, that's because of the space that I'm using. Um... That's how far I wanted them out. Also, it gives a little bit of room because if the drill comes right up to the trigger here, then you have the rest of your drill, the chuck, and if you have a bit or a driver of some kind in the chuck, I wanted there to be enough room uh, where, the, where it could still fit in there nicely and not bottom out if it has something in the chuck. So, uh, Anyways, that's, that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to finish drilling these. And then I'll probably use my uh, compound miter or my sliding miter saw to cut those out. Um, I might use one of my cordless skill saws or, I mean, you could cut that with just about anything. It's, it's PVC, so it cuts really easy. But uh, I'm going to cut those and then I'm probably going to put a little 45 on the corners. So I'll get the rest of this drilling done and move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm using my smaller cordless saw to make my two cuts here to finish out that that opening. And then what that will allow when this is mounted up, see the saw will hang like that. This is actually for the saw, one of them. So it'll hang in there just just like that. cutting the rest of these out and then get ready to start taking some stuff down so that I can get them mounted up. This is what I'm going to be replacing. This is what I originally made in my trailer and I've just I've outgrown it. I actually didn't do this very long ago. Um, you can see my sawzall is just hanging on a couple of screws. My uh, I've got one of my cordless saws in here and it's pretty snug so I want to try to do a better better fit for that and then my three cordless well now I've added I've added some more tools um, again I'm trying to take advantage of some of this wasted space I've got all this space right here and this is where my miter saw used to sit so it took up a lot of that space and then I've got my clamp here that I would drop down and that would keep everything in so when I'm going down the road you know my tools don't all fall out so um, what I might do is put a spacer in the back and mount those tubes in such a way that <clears throat> that gravity will keep them in you know with a with a downward slant to them instead of sitting flat like that and then I don't think I would need this anymore um, I'd like to get away from that and just have them probably angled in so that they 
hold in nicely. Um, but anyways, this is what it looks like right now. You can see all the clutter on my workbench. This just really isn't working well. So time to uh, do a little bit of revamping. So this is the before, and I'll show you what it looks like when I get them all up there. So I've got the first one in. Uh, what I've done is I used this inch and a half strip, um, just some scrap material I had to create that slant that I was looking for. And then I drilled my two holes. And on this bottom hole, I've got a, a guide hole to go through. And this one's for my sawzall, so fits right in there. And I think that that's going to ride just fine without worrying about it falling out. Anyways, there's the first one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, knock the rest of these out and show you what it looks like. All right. Well, all finished up. That is much, much better. Used up some wasted space, and now I've got all these cordless tools organized. So I have my three drills, my impact, both of my skill saws, and my sawzall. So that is fantastic. And I think those are going to ride just fine. They've got quite a bit of pitch. As you can see, they pitch down pretty well. And I think those will ride just fine. So now I have to clean up all of this mess that I made on my workbench and then I'm going to move over to this side and do some reorganizing over here. Try to get rid of a bunch of stuff that doesn't get used.